Alright, so boom, we saw the whole season on YouTube and Patreon. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Now, Sean and I are here for season two. And y'all been hitting me up in these comments on various videos that have nothing to do with Vox Machina to remind me <laughs> to watch Vox Machina. So here we are. Sean and I are here to deliver you the goods. Just for people who don't know, I didn't actually watch this show on the channel. I edited it for the channel. <laughs> so I have seen it. Mm -hmm. And I have been exposed to a little bit of Critical Role, who are the guys behind uh, Vox Machina. I watched a couple episodes of one of their campaigns, but I'm not a huge D&D fan, so uh, this was a nice little sort of show to get into that, uh, get a taste of it. Mm. So, yeah, I enjoyed season one. Looking forward to season two. I believe we left off with dragons coming, so that'll dragon, be interesting. Dragon, call dragon. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. One of the main reasons I'm excited, and I've been saying this in the in the last season, is this community is fire. So I'm looking forward to interacting with you some more. All right, y'all know what to do with that like button. Cast the spell on it. Roll some dice. Put your cocks marking it out. My God. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oh my cock's mocking it. Recent weeks. It, it can't be. All right. She could like sense them or something. When they're near. Bro, I would be fucking running, especially if they just passed over me and nothing happened. I'm out. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh, ice. Okay. That's crazy. It's been time to go. Hmm. Was that poison? I think so. Oh no, that's the sovereign. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh fuck. So this one's different than the poison gas. How are we supposed to defeat? Four dragons. Fuck. I feel like the animation's better this season. Mm -hmm. Bro, what an inch. Oh my god. If y'all would have ran when I said to. I mean, I don't think it would have mattered, to be honest. Nah, you got a whole head start. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Rage! Oh, oh my okay. god! <laughs> Never mind. Vex, you got a plan? Sure do. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I wonder what the dragon's goal is. Just to wipe everyone out? Oh, well, looks like it. Yeah, yeah, just to murder. Oh god. Wow! Ooh. He's meat. Mm -hmm. Ah, GG. Yeah. I wonder if he's the leader. He's got the jewel on his chest. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Capitulation? What the fuck does that mean? I mean, I don't know if they can submit if you kill them all. Oh, they're fucked. <laughs> ah! This looks fantastic, by the way. It sure does. Oh my god. Your monument shall fall. Your civilization erased. Ooh. What the shit? Oh. Damn. I would not be sitting there. Oh my god. This shit is broken. He's got like gas outlets. Yeah. Damn! Jeez. I did not expect this from Vox Machina. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. Hear me, insects. You live out of mercy. Fight or flee, and you forfeit that mercy. A new age is upon you. The rule of the Chroma Conclave! Hmm. 
chroma, so colors, so mm. the different colored dragons. I guess. Look how far they got away from the the kingdom, bro. You mean to tell me they couldn't? The other people couldn't fuck off? Damn. Yeah, that's what escaping gets you. Is it gonna be a body? Okay, thank you. Let me gaze into your brooding eyes before I shuffle off this mortal coil. Ooh. Woo! Woo! You still had time for jokes after your leg looked like that? At least you healed my face. That's the most important part anyway. Well, second most important. <laughs> Everyone! He's gonna fuck this man, bro. Gilmore, does this place have a back door? In a matter of speaking. Everyone, draw near! Is it like a warp crystal or something? Allah! Nice. Yes. I love how they just get up and fuck off, like if nothing happened. Oh, oh shit. So many. Um, okay, hurry. You'll be safe in here. Will they? Everybody inside. <gasps> oh, shit. They said if you run. Damn. Jeez. Damn. This is so gruesome. <laughs> Close the gates like it's not flying. Oh mm. my god, we just got this house. Like I said, Whitestone. Make it happen, Kiki. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> He's not stupid. Damn, he can see through that. Damn, these dragons are broken, and I, yeah. I'm here for it, bro. They just left Whitestone. Oh, it's gonna fucking blast! Woo! Nice. <clears throat> How far are they? I think they're pretty far. From Im Iman, I think it is. I can take right. If he's important to you, then he's important to me. Imagine if they just saw a dragon flying over the horizon. I mean, oh, fuck that. Uh, okay. I hope that little kid is not a dragon. It had green eyes. <clears throat> she had green eyes. Damn. Is there actually anyone alive there? I fucking doubt it. I dispatch them most, but our group escaped with magic. They could gather forces against us. Hunt down those vermin. Show them the wrath of the Kuma Conclave. That was such a strong opening. I enjoyed Vox Machina, but yeah. I think that was the best episode out of this <laughs> season, out of the series. Yeah. I was enthralled the whole time. The pacing was great. Those dragons, the animation was beautiful, and the attack from that fire dragon, my God, that looks so beautiful. Um, powerful. Man, I am excited to see where this goes because that was such a strong opener. Yeah. Yeah. I loved all the voice acting. And that's why I was like, fuck, mm. what is that? Oh, the dragon is Zavala from fucking Destiny. <laughs> oh, cool. cool. He has nice. a very, a very uh, distinctive voice. Like, you can't miss it. He's also, mm. did, you, did you see John Wick? No. You never saw John Wick? So I'm not me. interested. <laughs> You're not interested in John Wick? Just like those uh, Taken movies, right? <laughs> no, no, it is not. It is not like the Taken movies. And then they do, and then they do a second one, and his daughter gets kidnapped again. Don't yeah. <laughs> Yours? I'm not the. And they do a third one, and his daughter gets kidnapped for the third time. <laughs> 
No, John Wick has more substance than that. Okay. Fuck them. Yeah, right. Let me not derail your uh, train of thought. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And their powers are fucking crazy. The powers are crazy. The destruction was nuts. The death was OD. It got me worried about the other town. They killed, like, he said, we demand capitulance or whatever it was. There's nobody else there to capitulate. <laughs> like, you yeah. murdered everybody. That's like that's like if I said, Sean, you serve me now, and then I broke your neck. <laughs> what the fuck? It makes no sense. And then the fucking blast, that, like you said, the dragon attack. Yeah. What the that was That was godlike. I feel like the quality of everything is way better. Because I remember season one being a little bit stiff in terms of animation. Mm. And maybe they just put the budget into the first episode. But this episode, everything was 10 out of 10. Like yeah. quality, you know, art. The dragons looked like they had a separate art style to <laughs> yeah. them that was different than like the characters. Yeah. And yeah, they looked beautiful. So yeah, everything about this episode was 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, really absolutely. good. Agreed. Are they going to be in the wrong place? <laughs> oh, fuck that. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh! Ooh. That's useful. <laughs> Some butt stuff? <laughs> he fell in the asshole, bro. Nice ass, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> What's your anal squirted? Buday. <laughs> wow. He just walked uh, up to the front. Pardon us, we come seeking an audience. I am High Bearer Board. The Platinum Sanctuary will hear your business. High Bearer, nice. I am Pike Trickfoot of the Everlight. A great evil has befallen Taldori. You see, dragons. The water reveals the truth. Mm. Damn, that's fucking Damn. dope. That's cool as shit. We humbly ask all the mighty temples of Vasselheim to lend their aid. They're about to be like, nah. Our sympathies and our hospitality. Yep. Nah. But that is all. Yeah. You Damn. Won't help us? Nope. You have weapons, ballista, armies. Vasselheim's most potent weapon is not its artillery, young man. It is our isolation. Mm. The city has stood for millennia by keeping the affairs of Taldore outside. Damn. I mean, I can understand because besides the isolation, it's probably better for them to fight from their city rather than sending the army out. They saw the Chroma Conclave and they did What is that? He's seeing things. Right. <laughs> oh shit. Famous. What did you do? Unless you want your skulls ground into powder, you might want to step back. Right, Grog? Damn. Grog? Oh, shit. We lost Grog? He would have been perfect right there, too. Hello? Um, <clears throat> Bidet? <laughs> Bidet? He's gonna keep saying that. <laughs> it's like a Coliseum? It looks like it. Oh, shit. We about to run our fade with the with the brother? Oh, he's blind? Sorry to wake mm. you. Uh, you seek answers, Grog Strongjaw. Oh! <gasps> you know my name? A question. Did you say yours already and I just forgot? Or I am Earthbreaker Groom. Earthbreaker? Anyone Fuck yeah. Storm Lord's ring seeks something. You are no different. It's got the Goku outfit on. Yeah, I was just about to say! We do need to come now. Strike me. Mm. And you will learn. Oh shit. Come now. This feels real weird. But fuck it. Let's get ugly, Grandpa. <laughs> fuck yeah. Oh! I wanna see this! Hey Z, are you expecting annoying visitors? <laughs> oh. V, 
visitors. No. Ooh, she's fucking fire. Sarah, darling. Twelve thousand is nothing compared to the horde of a dragon. A dragon? Four, actually. All incredibly wealthy. Help us, and that wealth could be yours. <laughs> Please. They're destroying Taldore, killing innocent people. This isn't about money. This is about saving lives. I love Pike. I, I love Pike. She came to the wrong place. Mm -hmm. so cute. Oh, I'm sorry, love. The Slayer's Deck doesn't do anything for free. Don't you get it? We're trying to save the fucking world! Uh. Oh! oh, who's that? Sure, I want to know what that was. I will take care of Vox Machina. Oh my god. Is this so, the patron? So oh. I had thought that that was a trap door. I just didn't say anything. And I wish I'd have said something because then I'd have sounded big brain as fuck. I wasn't ready. Love to see you try that again after I Fuck. Krog is getting fucked. With a name like Earthbreaker? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> fuck yeah. Benjamin, when darkness makes you tremble, <laughs> children. It's mm. true. The patron. How astute. <laughs> oh. Call me Osisa. Sphinx. Chosen of the knowing mistress and patron of the slayers. Take. A sphinx. Mm. Damn, your brain. They still existed. <laughs> what the hell is happening? You depended entirely on your sister. You hopelessly seeking your father's love. Where does your strength come from? Going through their own trials. Why do you keep saying that? You wield such a dark weapon. A reluctance that proves your frailty. Mmm. Take your fucking sword. What? You don't have to call out my shit, okay? <laughs> I know I can be kind of annoying. No one cares about you. <laughs> I'm no different. <laughs> that was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about you. You want me to say my muscles or my rage, but I know it's my heart. That's my real strength. Wrong. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh fuck! You'll need strength to defeat the dragons, but also knowledge. Knowledge? Of what? The vestiges of divergence. These weapons of war were created to strike down the gods themselves. Believed too powerful for mere mortals to wield. The vestiges were scattered across the lands. The vegetables. Buried, lost, forgotten, or perhaps waiting to be found. The Deathwalker's ward is Bro, run. Bro, this animation, edge. fam. <laughs> the matron of Raven's own armor lies entombed by a lake to the west. Um, so that was pretty exposition heavy. We got what seems to be the main plot line for this season out the way, which is how to deal with the dragons. So we're going to find some vestiges, which are supposed to be some means of dealing with them or some kinds of weapons. And then finding one vestige will reveal the other ones. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty hyped. I, that whole sequence with the Sphinx was fire. Um, mm. It was really good. I love the, like the scenery, bro. Like they, they put their feet in this season, bro. Like they dipped their toes in that shit and was like, yes, play with me. Yeah. Yeah, that shit looks so good. That whole, when they was getting sent away and, man, that whole shit was fire. I really like this season. I really do. Yeah. Just I'm like, I, we keep saying animation, but it's not just the animation. It's like the art style, how everything's sort of cohesive, how they're putting a lot of detail into the backgrounds. Uh, they really know what they want things to look like. So everything in terms of presentation is top notch. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm fucking with this. Heavy. I like it a lot. And it was worth the wait, even though I don't know how long the wait was. 
<laughs> yeah. It was it a year? I doubt it was a year, right? This is season uh, two, isn't it? Yeah, Vox Machina season one release date. It was pretty much a year exactly. Mm, so okay. Makes sense. Well, shit, it was well worth that wait, bro. Because there, there's yeah. some shit we waited a, a year for, and it was trash. But this is well <laughs> worth it. So yeah. Yeah, man, I fuck with this shit. Heavy, bro. Wow. Your offerings grow ever smaller. That's Zavala. My Why is Pike there? Beautiful. As for your kind, it seems your useless bubbles are no longer needed. Run! Run! Oh, maybe she's dreaming. Yeah. Vision. Okay. Thordak. Mm. Hey. He just wiped them out. Bro, I might have to get a tattoo of Dor Thordak. He's too clean, bro. That's a clean like design. Bro, you can float your ass out of there. Oh shit! Oh my god! Yeah, all just gonna go try it, like. Oh! Mm. Fuck, that's a strong arrow, bro. Who's fucking call? Oh, which one of you guys saved me? Yeah, word. That would be us. Oh shit. Hello. She's, right. She's so Hello, fucking you? cool, bro. <laughs> I love her design, yeah. Hell yeah. The tomb was built for the matron of ravens, the goddess of death. Mm. Mm. It enshrines the body of her ancient champion, the highest of her order. Striking fear into the hearts of her enemies. His name was Pervon. <laughs> Pervon. Pervon? Last name. Bear, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> In fact, we just picked up quite a haul of magical items. Didn't we, Scanlan? Huh? You mean the shit we took from Gilmore's? Yes, obviously. The shit we took from Gilmore's. Ooh. That broom. <laughs> Watch that broom be something crazy. It was sweeping up trash. <laughs> the Slayer's take assumed the tomb was destroyed centuries ago. Turns out it's still there. You must be fairly annoyed that Osisa told us about it before you. Mm. Hadn't crossed my mind. Any Dota players? She looks like Queen of Pain. Followed us. Sister, do not go far from me. Oh. We've been saying that our whole life. I'll be fine. Nope, she's dead this season. One of them's getting clipped. I don't know how D and D games work. Can your character die and then you come back as like a different character, or? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good question. Ready? Hmm. Damn, they made some cool ass character models. Damn. Now, how long could they hold that? Uh, not very long, apparently. Mm -hmm. I hope there's water type. Word. <laughs> uh, Beardy, this one's a pole. Oh. <laughs> After you. <laughs> Fucking Kratos. I want to trip on this. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. Idiot. Oh my God. Oh shit! Moradaro. Oh fuck! <laughs> this show is visceral as fuck, bro. She's snuffing him on. Oh god! Woo! <gasps> Rage. The beard. Oh god! Oh, oh god! I remember that sword drains blood, but I don't remember like exactly what it does. I got a water bender. They've got a mage. Oh, Last one's always the same famous. thing. But don't worry, I'll save you. Bullshit! I'll save you. My <laughs> god! Oh. 
Oh, there he goes. Brother! Right. That's so cool. Shit! Jump on! <laughs> Fuck him! Yeah, he fell off. <laughs> Where are Cash and Zara? We can't leave without them. No. There, he left without you. They ditched us. That's cheating. You impressed? Cause you fucking should be. He's his own hype man. Mm hmm. Let's find a vestige. Wait, let me give it a look first. What's that? No. Everyone just stay put. Don't step on anything, don't pull anything, don't do anything. What have we here? Hmm. It would be cool to do an escape room like this. Yeah. A, a temple type thing. Bro, that whole room was dead. <sighs> the Deathwalker's ward. Thanks. Stop. Fuck. You need to wait for my brother. Oh, Did she literally just die? He said don't do nothing. Damn, I was just kidding. What's wrong? What happened? You left me. I was lost. Oh Brother, shit. I... Did they really, bro? Are you fucking. <laughs> wow, okay. Are you? I guess that could have been death flags like the whole episode yeah, yeah. with the flashbacks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking about it, but it happened so suddenly. And I suppose that makes it better because shit does just happen. Um. I don't know if they're going to find a cure for that or if she's actually just dead because that goes back to what I was talking about earlier. What happens in a D&D &D campaign when someone dies? Because I don't know. So, Bro. Crazy. Uh, so, first of all, if you're in the comments, do not answer this question if it involves spoilers, okay? But I would like to know. If you die in a D and D campaign, like, do you roll for it and you die, or like, how does that work? But don't tell me if she's dead or not. I don't want to confirm. I'd rather find out. I mean mm. that shit. Please let me find out. But here's my thing: that this that scene is probably the only scene for me that was out of order, out of whack, just didn't fit to me because like mm. it's so random. There was no, like, threat. There was no, like... I mean, there was the build-up, but there was no, like... I don't get why it would have happened. You see what I'm saying? Like, it just happened just... It could have been anybody that got hit by that shit. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah. first of all, what was it that killed her? You know what I'm saying? Like, did it... She, she had no blood. There was no hole. There was no, like... She just died. Did it, like, hit her so hard it stopped her heart or something? Like, what the fuck? Don't answer these yeah. questions. These are just things that... Is going through my mind. Do not answer these questions. Because if they're going to tell me, I'd rather find out. Please. But. Yeah. Three episodes in and we lose a main character? And then there's also the question of why didn't it hit Percy? Because he's the one who touched the tomb, right? But we did go in knowing that this vestige had to do with death and all that kind of stuff. So it looked like some black white energy came out. Which is typically like some yeah, deathly energy or something. I think she is dead, but the question is, is there some way to reverse it? I'm not sure we've been shown ways to reverse death in this universe. Near death? Or, uh, well, what, what's, the, what's the, 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 the tree lady's name? I keep forgetting her name. Uh, Keyleth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, she was dying. 
Yes. The end of the first season, <laughs> she was getting cooked up. Don't go testing my knowledge of season one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Put, putting me on blast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, fuck, bro. I can't believe this. Mm. The thing is, too, is the show is so good that I'm not even, like, mad about it. I'm just, like, accepting of it, if that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, and partly because in season one, I feel like there wasn't a huge spotlight on Vex and Vex. Mm. And I think that just comes with the fact that there's quite a huge cast of, Mm. like, main characters, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're a team. So there's a lot of people and not really enough screen time to put onto every single character. So I don't feel like I would have been sad if any of them would have died, really. Mm. And it's just because we haven't gotten to know them a lot. Because like I said, the medium doesn't allow for us to get a lot of details into someone. Like last season, we focused a lot on Percival. So if he had died, yeah, I probably would have felt a bit of an impact. But the other characters, not so much. Mm. But uh, we were actually just getting into sort of their backstories and learning a bit more about Vex and Vex and yeah um, that was very untimely and uh, a surprise definitely anyway I still think my favorite characters are it's a toss up between Scanlan Pike and Grog Um, it's still a toss up because it kind of it kind of shifts like one minute it'll be Pike then the next minute is Grog and then the next minute it's uh, Scanlan those are my three favorite out of out of the bunch like it it swaps (laughs) I don't want to sound basic as fuck, but my favorite character is probably the Cinder King Thorduck, the dragon. Oh, I mean... Pure, okay. Purely because he did the hyperbeam Kamehameha. That shit was... <laughs> so good. Holy shit. <laughs> that shit was coom. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that shit was so cool, bro. And the voice... Ah! Yeah. Zavala killing it again. And I'm only calling him that because I don't know his real name. But I recognize him every time I hear him. I think he mm. was in Dead Space, wasn't he? I think he was in the first Dead Space, but then they they re- you're, you're just naming games I haven't played. <laughs> you never played Dead Space? Was that like, wasn't that like an Xbox or yeah, Xbox 360? Yeah, I was a PlayStation guy, so you had a PS3 over a 360. Yeah, I'm sorry for your loss, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had both, so but fuck. Yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I still got them. They still sitting nice. right over there. I do want to thank y'all again for being with us. We're on the road sure. to 30,000. So please, please subscribe. I want to see the big 3 O on the channel. We've been working real hard. Been through a lot. Sean stepped up. You know what I'm saying? Took over. Took over the reins. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm. My man's a horsey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate y'all. I love you. And we will see you in the next one. Ha, ha, ha.